When you, there's been a lot of reading today, you see, mm. you got it too, right? When you, oh, look, yeah. when you start reading all of this, you realize why the Attorney General wanted to come out and get ahead of this because sure. it is not as glowing as the President of the United States, as he uh, has said, it's not a complete exoneration, and as that, that the initial letter from Barr has said, all you have to do is read it. That's right. Now, here's the sad thing, though. I sound like you for a second here. Uh, Rudy did an effective thing tonight that plays to our political reality. You can read that report and say, wow, they were lying. They did a lot of wrong things. It's good to know they weren't Russian agents, that there was no criminal conspiracy, but they did a lot of wrong things and then lied about it. Or you can look at it and say, eh, I don't believe Mueller. He's just another part of the deep state. They're all in on the same thing. Yeah. And that's the sad part for me. Yeah, well, as, as you and I have said, it would be a political Rorschach test. I thought. Uh, yes, it is, but I actually think that there are things in here, again, maybe some of it didn't rise to the level of criminality. It probably would have with an average citizen. But sure, it didn't hear, Mueller right? said that. Right? Um, but it's still very damning. I mean, oh, absolutely. It's, and, and, and politically embarrassing for absolutely. the president. And shameful. And shameful and unethical. But they have no shame in their game. Yeah. And that's why when Hogan Gidley came on tonight with Coop, he wouldn't even own that Sarah Sanders got busted for lying and admitted it. Mm. He couldn't even say it. And when he said, you know, the president also lied a lot, and he, he wouldn't admit it. The president never lied, never lied to me. As long as they have that mentality, there will never be transparency, but they better know this. Forget about fake news. It's all about fake views from the White House. Yeah, They've man. been lying to the American people about what happened, and that's why they did it, because they knew it was wrong. Well, I'm glad you said that. So stick around, everyone. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to point out everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but just a lot of it. Yeah, you don't um, have enough very time. Soon here. Even with your two-hour show, you don't have <laughs> enough time. <laughs> Can you imagine trying to read all of this? But, you know, I have to say, it's, it, it's, it, it's just very interesting to me that in certain places here, when there was so much evidence that some of it didn't rise to the level of uh, it's a high bar. It is Don, a high bar. Beyond a reasonable doubt means to the layman and yes. layman and woman, no other explanation except the prosecutors makes as good sense. But we That's don't, tough. Well, we, we're not sure if their intent was to break the law, but some people knew better to, than right. to carry out the president's orders. So, I mean, to me... And they're lucky they did, otherwise they would have been like Cohen and wind up going down for helping him and doing what he asked them to do. He's the only one so far. So far. It's crazy. With yeah. all these other people in there, I mean, it, it's, it's really bizarre um, that that's what happened. That and the fact that those lawyers, I mean, you know, people think I'm joking. They think I was being sarcastic. I'm clapping for real. The Raskins, Giuliani, they did a good Secolo, job. they kept this president safe from himself. If he had sat down... We'd be telling a different story right well, now. Well, they did a good job for the president, not for the American people. Though. Well, that wasn't yeah. their job. Yeah, that, yeah, you're exactly right about that.